Uh, my name's Tim Shale. Uh, I've been a member of St. John's with my family since about 2012. We're normally 10 o'clock or so. It's, it's maybe my third time coming to an 8 o'clock service, so good morning. It's nice to meet and see everybody here. Uh, I've been asked to kind of talk about children's ministries, and uh, Mother Sarah, during her sermon, was talking about blessings. Well, I've got two blessings at home, uh, Finian and Aubrey. They're 12 and 9 years old. And uh, my wife, Melinda, and uh, we just love St. John's. We've always felt comfortable coming here. My daughter went to the uh, preschool. And so it, just, it was always a really comfortable place for us. And so I've been kind of asked, I've been kind of involved in the children's ministries. Uh, at Kind of from when we first started, I was just kind of wanted to be involved and just kind of just help out when you can. So it's kind of changed over the years uh, that we've been here. But uh, currently, uh, we're following the Godly Play model, which is a really cool program. It's basically the way I kind of describe it is you're kind of telling like intimate stories with the kids, like in small groups. Or it's, we start off as small groups, then I don't know if any of you have noticed, but we've kind of gotten larger. If you come to the 10 o'clock service, the kids will kind of proceed through church on their way, and the line keeps getting longer and longer and longer and longer and longer. So now we have two groups, but it's essentially the same thing. You're telling stories about the church in an intimate and kind of, it's always kind of put in a mysterious way about, you know, how things happen. Like we explained uh, last week, I had a, or two weeks ago, I had a story about communion and what it means in the world communion. Uh, so that's kind of one aspect of our children's ministries here. One of the great things about St. John's and what we do with our kids is that we offer outreach, things that young kids can do. Backpack buddies is awesome. My kids love doing it. They can come in, fill a backpack. They see that these are lunches, these are food going home to kids who don't have food on the weekends. And it gives, starts giving them a sense of what it means to help others. Over the summer, uh, we had another program of bringing in uh, old clothes from home for migrant farm workers to wear while they're picking tobacco, long sleeve shirts. The kids gathered them, collected them, we brought them in, we separated them, and then we're able to distribute them. Uh, crop walk was another one. Some your kids are able to do crop walk. You know, you can either, you know, it's a mile walk. Uh, my kids participated in it this year. They've done it before. And it's also a way to encourage them to kind of look out and see how money is raised and how you help other people out in the community. Other things that we do here at St. John's for the children's ministry, Helen is really awesome with the children's choir. I know that kind of carries over into music ministry. But, uh, we always have like a pageant. She always puts on a Christmas play and she has to, she gets the kids to learn songs at 10 o'clock and they sing songs. And that's always been really cool for me too because my daughter was always really shy. And she, first couple times, Helen will tell you, she cried through singing the song up here. But now she's kind of gotten through that. And so she's gotten confidence in getting up in front and speaking in front of people, which is not always easy. Uh, as you saw, we have an astronaut and a bumblebee today. The cool things that we also do here, Mother Sarah encourages the kids around Halloween to come in and get blessed in their costumes. And of course, at Christmas, we always have a Christmas pageant, which is open to everybody. Uh, so why is the children's ministries, you know, important to me? Well, it's always been important for me to have the kids learn about the church, the Bible, and history. So that way they know where the stories come from, kind of to know, it's like as uh, Mother Sarah said today, you know, learn that love is a big thing, that we should all love each other. Uh, it helps them give them a sense of community and helping out. And, uh, you know, all this could not be done without everybody's support here in the church, both financial and with time. We have lots of people that volunteer uh, their time during the 10 o'clock service uh, to come and help and teach. Uh, and so, you know, it can't be done without everybody, without everybody's support and everybody's time. So I just wanted to thank all of you for that and encourage you if you're ever at a 10 o'clock or if you have a grandchild coming into town, come feel free to come in and sit down with us. You can kind of see how we do it and what it's like. And uh, I think it's a really cool program. And thank you.